Bewitched, an iconic comedy that aired on ABC between 1964 and 1972, revolved around the whimsical life of Samantha, a witch navigating the complexities of a mixed marriage with her mortal husband, Darren. While the show became a household favorite, there has been perpetual buzz regarding an infamous scene that allegedly led to its cancellation. As captivating as the magic on screen was the drama and mystery behind the curtains, making Bewitched a subject of intrigue even decades after its final episode. The premise of Bewitched. At the heart of Bewitched was a seemingly simple premise, a love story between two individuals from entirely different worlds. Samantha, portrayed brilliantly by Elizabeth Montgomery, was a charming witch with powers she often used, sometimes to save the day and sometimes leading to humorous complications. Darren, her mortal husband, disapproved of her magical interventions, preferring a more mundane life. This continual tension of magic versus mortal presented an ongoing thematic debate about tradition versus modernity, old ways versus new, and the compromises necessary in any marriage. The character dynamics further enriched the show's narrative. From the ever-changing face of Darren to the quirky neighbors and Samantha's mischievous magical family, each character added layers to the storyline. Particularly noteworthy was the relationship between Samantha and her mother, Endora. While often comedic, their interactions highlighted generational gaps and the perennial mother-daughter tug-of-war, with magic serving as a backdrop. Beyond its individual characters, Bewitched, had a cultural ripple effect. For one, it was among the first shows to put a powerful woman at its center, even if her power was literally magical. Moreover, at a time when television was still in its budding stage, Bewitched broke many taboos. Elizabeth Montgomery's pregnancies, though initially hidden, later became a part of the show, shedding light on changing TV norms. Moreover, the recasting of a main character like Darren opened dialogues about continuity in television, actor commitments, and fan loyalty. The seamless transition from one Darren to another was not just a recasting choice, but a reflection of the show's adaptability and the audience's willingness to embrace change. While Bewitched entranced audiences with its magical escapades and comedic plots, it was much more than just a sitcom. It became a mirror of its time, capturing the shifts, evolutions, and undercurrents of a society in flux, all under the guise of enchanting spells and twinkling noses. Elizabeth Montgomery, the star behind Samantha. When it comes to identifying the magnetic pull that brought Bewitched into the heart of its audience, one cannot overlook Elizabeth Montgomery. As the enchanting Samantha, Montgomery brought a charisma that was undeniably mesmerizing, but who was the woman behind the sparkling nose twitches and charming spells? Elizabeth Montgomery hailed from Hollywood royalty. Her father, Robert Montgomery, was a famous actor and director, setting the stage for Elizabeth's own journey in the entertainment world. But Elizabeth was determined to carve out her own niche, separate from the looming shadow of her father's legacy. It's fair to say, with Bewitched, she achieved that and more. Montgomery's portrayal of Samantha wasn't just about casting spells or navigating magical misadventures. It was an embodiment of the complexities women faced during the 1960s. With each episode, she seamlessly transitioned between a powerful witch and a doting housewife trying to placate her mortal husband. Her character became a symbol of duality that many women related to, embodying the balancing act between societal expectations and personal aspirations. Off-screen, Montgomery's life was as dramatic as the plot lines she played out on Bewitched. She was often at the epicenter of the show's behind-the-scenes tumult. One of the most notable was her on-set affair amidst rumors of her husband's infidelity. This personal turmoil, involving two of the show's key producers, had to have a significant impact on the atmosphere on set. Yet, Despite personal struggles, Montgomery's commitment to her role never wavered. There's also the well-documented fact that Montgomery had initially been hesitant to accept the role of Samantha. The Hollywood allure had begun to wane for her, and she had considered retiring before Bewitched was even a glint in a producer's eye. 
It was the persistence of her then-husband and the show's producer, Bill Asher, that persuaded her to step into Samantha's magical shoes. The show, as history showed, would not have been the same without her. As the series progressed, Montgomery's influence wasn't limited to just her acting. She became a significant voice in the direction the show took. When the series faced challenges, such as the sudden departure of Dick York due to health reasons, it was Montgomery's resilience that kept the spirit of Bewitched alive. She welcomed the new Darren, Dick Sargent, and ensured that the show's essence remained consistent for its fans. Despite her many challenges, from marital issues to navigating the changing landscape of 60s television, Montgomery remained the heart and soul of Bewitched. Her ability to adapt her unyielding commitment to her role and her undeniable talent made her an icon of her era. When she finally decided to end the show in 1972, it wasn't due to the infamous scene or dwindling ratings, but personal reasons, a testament to the profound impact she had on the series. In retrospect, Elizabeth Montgomery was not just an actress playing a part. She was a force that shaped and steered Bewitched, leaving an indelible mark on television history. The Darren Dilemma. Bewitched was not merely a testament to its magical plotline or even Elizabeth Montgomery's captivating portrayal of Samantha. It was equally about the man who stood by her side, Darren Stevens. However, the role of Darren saw an unforeseen transition from one actor to another, turning into one of television's most talked about shifts. Dick York, the original Darren, was not just an actor deeply committed to his character, but was also rumored to harbor deep feelings for Montgomery. Although these feelings remained largely unrequited, York's affection for his on-screen wife was palpable. It brought a depth and genuineness to their on-screen interactions, which many credit as part of the show's initial charm. This connection, though, was a double-edged sword. It added layers to the on-screen relationship, but it also made the atmosphere off-screen occasionally tense, given Montgomery's own marital entanglements. However, the true storm cloud over York's time on Bewitched was not his feelings for Montgomery, but his deteriorating health. The tale of his tragic injury predates his stint on the show. During a film shoot in the late 1950s, York suffered a severe accident, causing a debilitating back injury. By the time Bewitched was in production, York was heavily reliant on pain medication. As seasons progressed, his pain became increasingly evident. His inability to stand for prolonged periods, let alone carry out more strenuous actions, began limiting the scenes he could participate in. In fact, many scenes were creatively shot to allow York to lean on props or sit. As much as he loved the show and the character, the physical demands became insurmountable. Then came the day when York's body could no longer cooperate with his dedication. In a particularly intense episode, York's pain became too unbearable to continue. He was rushed from the set, marking an abrupt end to his time as Darren. His departure was unexpected and jolting, not just for the cast and crew, but for a dedicated audience who had come to associate him deeply with the character. Enter Dick Sargent, a name that would forever be intertwined in the Darren Dilemma. When Sargent took over the reins as the new Darren, the challenges were manifold. He wasn't just stepping into a beloved character. He was also stepping into the shadow of an actor who had left an indelible mark. The shift wasn't clandestine. The producers didn't try to pull wool over the audience's eyes. The change was acknowledged and the show proceeded. In hindsight, the Darren dilemma is reflective of how deeply audiences connect with television characters and how actors, beyond their roles, leave a part of themselves in the characters they portray. It was not merely about replacing an actor. It was about navigating memories, expectations, and emotional ties. The switch also affected the cast dynamics. Montgomery, despite her professionalism, had to recalibrate her rapport with her on-screen partner. The show had to find its footing once again, reimagine its storytelling, and hold on to its essence amidst a sea change. In the annals of television history, the Darren Dilemma will always stand out as a testament to the unpredictability of showbiz. It's a reminder that while scripts might be penned in ink, the stories behind the scenes are often written in pain, resilience, and the relentless pursuit of magic, much like the ethos of Bewitched itself, behind-the-scenes drama. While the on-screen world of Bewitched was filled with light-hearted mischief and magical hijinks, behind the cameras, 
the atmosphere was occasionally less enchanting. Like any long-running series, the cast and crew of Bewitched faced their share of off-screen drama, which only added layers of complexity to the overall production. Perhaps the most talked-about controversy was Elizabeth Montgomery's affair. The vivacious leading lady of the show was, at the time, married to the series' director, William Asher. However, rumors began to circulate that she was involved with another member of the cast. Though names were discreetly whispered and the details remained veiled in mystery, the effects of this liaison were palpable. The strain on her marriage with Asher became evident, and their relationship dynamics played out not just off-screen but influenced on-set interactions as well. While both Montgomery and Asher were consummate professionals, those in the know could sense the undercurrents of tension during shoots. Adding to the web of complex relationships was Montgomery's rapport with Agnes Moorhead, who played her on-screen mother, Endora. Moorhead, a seasoned actress with an illustrious career, had her own distinct approach to her craft. Her dedication to her character and a certain set of expectations about how scenes should play out occasionally put her at odds with Montgomery. Both strong-willed and passionate about their roles, Montgomery and Moorhead had a relationship that could best be described as tumultuous. Their differences sometimes led to heated exchanges, but these conflicts were counterbalanced by moments of genuine camaraderie and mutual respect. The chemistry between them, whether born from affection or friction, translated to a memorable on-screen mother-daughter dynamic. The show, being a pioneer in its fantastical storytelling, often pushed the boundaries of what was achievable in terms of special effects during that era. This ambition occasionally led to long hours and grueling shoots, which could strain tempers and patience. There were times when scenes had to be reshot multiple times to achieve the desired magical effect, leading to exhaustion and frayed nerves among the cast and crew. Furthermore, as with any successful show, there were the inevitable ego clashes. Roles and screen times were points of contention. Some of the supporting cast members occasionally felt overshadowed and yearned for more substantial storylines or character arcs. The writers and producers, on the other hand, had the challenging task of balancing character development with audience expectations, all while ensuring the central theme of the show remained intact. Yet despite the behind-the-scenes tensions and dramas, what's truly remarkable is how little of it seeped onto the screen. To the viewers, Bewitched remained a delightful escape into a magical world, a testament to the professionalism and dedication of its cast and crew. The show's ability to maintain its charm and quality, even amidst backstage turbulence, speaks volumes about the collective commitment to storytelling. In the end, Bewitched is a prime example of the duality of showbiz, the ability to create enchantment on screen, even when reality behind the camera is far from fairy tale perfect. The off screen stories, with all their complexities and controversies, only add depth to the show's legacy, painting a picture of passion perseverance, and the magic of television, authenticities and authenticities in production. The magic of television often lies in its ability to blur the lines between reality and fiction, transporting audiences into a world where they willingly suspend disbelief. Bewitched was no different, charming viewers with its delightful premise of a modern witch trying to live a mortal life. But beyond the well-scripted spells and enchantments, there were moments where the boundaries between real and real were intriguingly thin. One of the notable aspects was the use of actual alcohol during some of the scenes. In an era where censorship and on-screen moral codes were still significant, the decision to use real drinks was a bold move. It added a layer of authenticity to the sequences and resonated with the viewers who could distinguish the genuine reactions and subtle nuances from those that were purely acted. While it might seem trivial in today's context, it was a testament to the show's commitment to verisimilitude. This realness, combined with the cast's ability to maintain character even after consuming actual alcohol, contributed to some memorable moments, both humorous and poignant. Behind the seemingly straightforward scenes, there were often intricate processes and techniques involved. The show, in its quest to depict magic seamlessly, employed a combination of pioneering special effects meticulous planning, and clever editing. 
The levitating objects, people appearing and disappearing, and other enchanting acts were all achieved through a mix of wires, back projection, and careful splicing of film reels. Every magical act demanded precision from both the actors and the production team, ensuring that the illusion created was both believable and entertaining. The real magic behind the scenes also lay in the team's dedication to creating an authentic atmosphere. From the meticulously designed sets that captured the essence of an average American household of the time, albeit with a magical twist, to the attention to detail in costumes and props, everything was aimed at grounding the show's supernatural elements in a tangible reality. Another layer of authenticity came from the show's commitment to capturing the zeitgeist of the era. Bewitched, despite its fantastical premise, never shied away from subtly addressing the pressing issues of its time, from race relations to women's rights. While the show was primarily a comedy, it seamlessly integrated social commentary, making its portrayal of 1960s and 1970s America all the more genuine. In the end, the blend of real and real and bewitched was a delicate dance, a balance of authentic elements with scripted magic. This intricate intertwining added depth to the show, making it resonate with audiences both as an enchanting escape and as a reflection of the times they lived in. Whether it was the real alcohol sipped by characters or the genuine twitch of Samantha's nose, these authentic touches added layers to the bewitching tapestry that the show weaved episode after episode, tribute to departed cast members. In the annals of television history, the brilliance of a show is often as much about the stories it tells as the characters that bring those tales to life. Bewitched was fortunate to be graced by a cadre of phenomenal actors who infused their roles with warmth, wit, and a certain enchanting allure. Among these luminaries were Alice Pierce and Dick York, whose contributions remain indelible and whose departures left an irreplaceable void. Alice Pierce, with her quirky and infectious portrayal of Gladys Kravitz, the nosy neighbor perpetually suspicious of Samantha's otherworldly antics, became an instant fan favorite. With her wide-eyed expressions and comedic timing, she turned what could have been a one-dimensional character into an unforgettable part of the series. Gladys was often the comedic relief, her exasperated cries to her disbelieving husband Abner becoming a running gag on the show. However, Pierce's genius lay in balancing the humor with vulnerability, making audiences not just laugh at Gladys, but empathize with her. What many fans didn't realize was the personal battle Alice was facing behind the scenes. Diagnosed with ovarian cancer, she continued to work on the show, displaying a resilience and dedication that were nothing short of admirable. Even in her ailment, she brought a zest and energy to Gladys that belied her health struggles. Her passing in 1966 was a significant loss to the cast and fans alike. But through Gladys, Alice's vivacious spirit remains immortalized. The tragic departures of Alice Pierce and Dick York were not just losses of talented actors, but of cherished characters who had become integral to the bewitched universe. They were testament to the commitment and passion these actors brought to their roles, often overshadowing their personal struggles to deliver performances that still resonate with audiences. Their dedication remains a poignant reminder of the sacrifices and challenges actors often face, unseen by the audience's eyes. In remembering Bewitched, it is essential to pay homage to these remarkable individuals, for their spirits continue to cast a spell on all who cherish the show. The Mysterious Serena, the Double Roll Phenomenon. One of the standout and audacious creative decisions on Bewitched was the introduction of Samantha's mischievous and flamboyant cousin, Serena. While the premise of a doppelganger or a dual role is not entirely new to cinema or television, the ingenuity here lay in having Elizabeth Montgomery play both roles. It was a feat that not only showcased her remarkable versatility as an actress, but also added layers of complexity to the storyline. Samantha, with her earnestness, loyalty to Darren, and constant attempts to blend in with the mortal world, sharply contrasted with Serena's carefree, rebellious nature. Where Samantha was the dutiful wife and mother trying to navigate her dual identity, Serena was the epitome of a witch embracing her supernatural powers and often ridiculing Samantha's choice of a mortal life. 
The dynamic between the two characters, while ripe with comedic moments, also underscored deeper themes of identity, acceptance, and the constant tug-of-war between conformity and individuality. Fan reactions to Serena were mixed. While many lauded the bold narrative choice and Montgomery's brilliant execution, others felt the character was a tad over the top and preferred the more grounded narratives centered around Samantha. However, regardless of personal preferences, Serena's introduction was undeniably a memorable twist in the series. In analyzing the dual role phenomenon in Bewitched, what stands out is not just the creative audacity of the showrunners, but Montgomery's prowess in bringing to life two distinct characters, each with her charm, quirks, and essence. The Serena experiment is a shining example of how Bewitched, time and again, pushed boundaries, keeping audiences engaged and often deliciously befuddled. The Misconception of Cancellation it's a well-tread narrative in the annals of television history that certain shows, despite their popularity, meet their untimely demise because of a particular scene or episode that supposedly didn't sit well with the masses or the network executives. Bewitched, too, has been shackled with such a legend. A persistent rumor suggests that an infamous scene was so controversial it led to the show's abrupt cancellation, but like many tales that grow with time and repeated retelling, the truth is more nuanced and far less dramatic. Bewitched, during its successful run, had its fair share of provocative moments, especially when one considers the time period in which it aired. The show regularly played with themes of identity, gender roles, and cultural integration, all wrapped up in its supernatural comedic envelope. Given this backdrop, it's easy to see why one could be led to believe that the series might have ventured too far and subsequently suffered the consequences. However, digging deeper into the records and contemporaneous accounts, it becomes evident that the show's conclusion was not the result of a single contentious scene. Several factors contributed to the end of Bewitched. Firstly, by the time the series approached its later seasons, Elizabeth Montgomery, the show's star and undeniable anchor, had grown weary of the role. Her portrayal of Samantha had made her a household name, but Montgomery was eager to explore other ventures, both professionally and personally. Without her enthusiasm and commitment, continuing the show seemed untenable. To ascribe the end of Bewitched to a single controversial scene is an oversimplification. The series, like all long-running shows, faced a confluence of challenges, both internal and external. It's essential to recognize that while individual episodes or scenes might stir controversy or generate heated discussions, they rarely, if ever, singularly dictate the fate of a series, especially one as beloved and influential as Bewitched. The story of Bewitched's end is not one of sudden catastrophe, but rather a gradual culmination of various factors. It remains a testament to the show's legacy that, decades later, its cancellation still sparks debate and intrigue, further cementing its place in television history. Legacy and Impact In the grand tapestry of television history, few shows have managed to cast as enchanting a spell as Bewitched. From its initial airings in the 1960s to syndication and beyond, the show has left an indelible mark on the entertainment landscape weaving a legacy that extends far beyond its 254 episodes. At its core, Bewitched was more than just a comedic exploration of a witch trying to live a mortal life. The show cleverly used its supernatural premise as a vehicle to delve into deeper societal issues. In an era that was characterized by rapid cultural change and social upheaval, Bewitched subtly touched on topics such as gender roles, societal norms, and prejudice, albeit often with a magical twist. Samantha's continuous balancing act between her witchly roots and her desire to fit into mortal society offered a poignant reflection of mid-century America's struggle with evolving identities and values. Beyond its thematic depth, Bewitched was also a trendsetter in the technical realm. The show's use of special effects while primitive by today's standards, was groundbreaking for its time. Samantha's iconic nose wiggle, coupled with the seamless appearance and disappearance of characters, required innovative camera techniques. These pioneering efforts laid the groundwork for future TV shows and films to expand their visual storytelling horizons. Bewitched also opened doors for subsequent supernatural-themed TV shows. 
Without the trail blazed by Samantha and her family, it's debatable whether later hits, spanning genres from drama to comedy, would have found their footing as swiftly. By successfully blending fantasy with reality, Bewitched showcased the vast potential of such narratives, paving the way for an entire subgenre of television. Culturally, the show played a vital role in challenging and reshaping perceptions. For instance, Samantha, while often playing the role of a traditional housewife, was undoubtedly the most powerful member of her household, a notable departure from the typical TV portrayals of the time. Her character subtly pushed back against established norms, offering viewers a glimpse of a world where women could be both nurturing and powerful. The international reach of Bewitched further underscored its influence. The show was syndicated in numerous countries, transcending cultural and linguistic barriers. Its global success is a testament to the universality of its themes and the relatability of its characters. In retrospect, Bewitched was not just a product of its time, but a harbinger of the future, both in content and form. It challenged the status quo while charming its way into the hearts of millions. Today, its episodes serve as both nostalgic time capsules and timeless narratives that continue to enchant and inspire. In the annals of TV history, while there have been shows with longer runs or higher ratings, few can boast of having the cultural resonance and lasting legacy of Bewitched. Its impact reverberates not only in the world of entertainment, but in how it subtly reshaped societal perspectives. As we look back, it's evident that the magic of Bewitched was not merely confined to the spells cast on screen, but in its enduring ability to captivate and resonate long after the final credits rolled.